Good afternoon everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another YouTube video on YouTube. What we're doing right now, as you can see, we have the motorcycle apart, mostly. Now, really quick, I already, I actually went through the work already to do all this stuff. Uh, I went through the install, positive, negative, uh, ran the cable up through this little, like, channel. Full, uh, underneath the seat lock mechanism went under you can see the yellow tape I know I should have used a different color but that's okay uh, ran this through the frame underneath up through this little plastic cover so it wasn't like hanging right through the little U bracket or loop bracket here up 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 bam and what do we have what do we have now we have a power socket for both USB and uh, lighter socket, I'm not too sure what that's called, power sockets, for charging your devices. What that means now, now that it's getting cold, unfortunately, what that means now is it's going to allow me to plug in my cell phone and actually do have a different cell phone, as you can see. Got another, this is my, this is actually my old unit. Go back. That is a 2016, I think it's 2016, uh, Chevrolet Corvette CR Z06. I don't know what package that is, but uh, another thing that we got here is we got stuff from Cycle Gear. Yet again, Cycle Gear is taking my money. What I have here is a power socket that you can charge both your USB devices and lighter socket style of devices. As such, that I have right here. This is from my car, right? And I have my old cell phone over there. That's right, folks, my old cell phone. So we're just gonna plug this in real quick. Now, what's good about this, is it actually has a power switch. So you can turn it on and off. Off, you can turn it off and on. It's hardwired to the battery. Just I found out when I when I uncovered it, it was actually on. Like, I'm thinking that the red light mean it's, means that it's on. So I took the, the waterproof cover off because the waterproof cover itself is waterproof I don't fully trust that it's waterproof altogether so I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of waterproofing action for it because uh, when this bike sits in the rain everything underneath does get wet like my saddlebags they get wet and uh, what's inside also gets wet it's a good saddlebag but if you have if you have like textile items in there like clothes shirts pants do put them in a plastic bag. So what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna plug in. Plug. We're gonna plug this in real quick, just like that. Now this thing lights up, like you'll see it light up here. So now we'll hit the on switch. What I'll do is I'll mount my phone here. Now just a little story, right? I was riding to Vermont the other day just for pizza and to see a covered bridge. Again, shout out to the best one A's for going to Vermont and sort of inspiring me to give it a shot too. I mean, for him, it said he said it took two hours or so. For me, it took under four. I, I had to stop twice for gas, I think. Technically, three times I filled up my gas because I filled up before I left. Then I stopped two more times when I was on my way to Brattleboro. Long story long, what happened is that I have the ram mount, right? Like, like this. I have the ram mount. And I'll just mount this real quick. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I had it mounted like that. Now I know you can see that I already lost two of the rubber feet that go on the top. But I had it like inside here. You know, I had it inside the, the loop things like that. I didn't have anything on the bottom. And I was riding. This I think was at night. Was it at night? No, it was in the daytime. Yeah, it was a daytime. I was I was only on like 287, so not very far from home. And I'm riding, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm going probably highway speeds, and all of a sudden I feel like something on like I see something moving in like this area, in, like the lower area of my my uh, my vision. Oh, it was my cell phone. My cell phone was just sort of like floating in the air. It hits my left thigh. I let off the throttle, I grab it, and then I'm looking on the road, looking down the road, and I'm like, oh man, almost lost my phone again. That would have been like the second time that I lost my cell phone while riding the motorcycle. Last time it happened, 
was before I replaced this phone. I'm actually on like another phone now that I just got. It's another Samsung. Uh, that previous one I lost before, I lost the one before I have this one, fell out of my shirt pocket. Because I was riding full speed home from work, had it in my shirt pocket like, like a polo shirt. Bam, hit the bump. I saw my, my phone fly out of my pocket. Bam, and it hit the ground like I like when it was in midair. I saw it like slow motion. Just hit hit Route Eight, hit the ground below me. I look into the mirror, I see it like cartwheeling behind me. I was like, it's gone. So I'm really not too sure why that happened. I had all the loop things on my phone, I think, or maybe I didn't. Not sure, but that's what happened. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. So I ran out of real estate on my handlebars because I have these. U-clamp mounts for my deflector shield here. I could have put this over here and this ram out could have stayed there, but there's no way for me to really move this anywhere. So we're gonna plug in our phone. Right? This is actually a really nice cell phone charger that my my parents gave me. And it charges phones quick. I, I always have it on the quick charge mode. Plug that in real quick. Alrighty. So we're just gonna Keep an eye on this and switch this on. Oh, oh, look at that. Charging rapidly. Woo -woo. All right. So now that that works and we know that it's um, functioning as it should. Walking in the nature. I've actually like slacked off pretty bad when it comes to waking up early in the morning. Except today. Today I did manage to wake up at 6.30, which I'm proud of. And I went right back to sleep. So I guess that wasn't really effective. So many cars right now. I can see I'm filming. So, um, so now that that's all together, we're going to go ahead and tidy up the bike and just put the seat back. Bam! And just like that, the seat's back on the bike. Do you notice something else that's different? If you do... So, if you do notice something different in the hand corner of this video, pause the video right now, comment below, and I'll tell you what it is. Date and time is what I removed. It's like the video just has a cleaner look with it. We're going to grab our GPS. I do have a GPS. It's an older TomTom -tom portable style of device. It's missing like the mount, the camera, like the, the, the mount, the clip-on mount that holds it in place. In any case, uh, the bike's all ready to go. Uh, one thing that I did notice, and I'm not too sure if I want to ride with this, is my tail light is kind of shot. See that? Somebody, hide that plate, somebody, when I was out on the road, popped my light. So that in itself is just a little bit of a, a damper. Well, right now it's cold. My tail light turn signal is kind of shot. I guess I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, even my feet feel how cold it is. Like, my feet are telling me, oh, it's cold, man. Why you want to ride, bro? I think I'm going to stop the video right here. I don't think I'm going to continue on a ride because it just doesn't... I think if I go for a ride, it's probably just going to be a ride to Panera to get a free cup of coffee on the bike and then some parking lot practice. It's like I'm just certain that uh, you know, law enforcement's gonna stop me and say, hey, your taillight's kinda shot out. And I've almost got the whole trifecta. I've got a phone charger and a mount, sort of, you know, all next to each other.